channel. So for today's video, we're going to talk about my hometown, San Pablo City. This vlog is requested by Dash Barletta. I'm doing this vlog because. <laughs> So I'm doing this vlog because of our tourism month. If hindi ka pa subscribe sa channel ko, mag subscribe ka na, click na subscribe button at iklik mo na din ang notification bell para ma notify ka sa next kung vlog. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so San Pablo City is the city of seven lakes. We have San Palo, Buno, Yambo, Pandin. Moika, Kalibato, and Palakbakin. And we also have Twin Lakes. That is Pandin and Yambo Lake. Yan. So, Twin Lakes nila. Halos magkalapit lang sila. Going to talk about kung ano nga ba yung favorite spot ko here sa San Pablo. Actually, gusto ko talaga lahat ng lakes. But then, meron lang tayong pinaka-favorite, syempre. Di mawala yung favorites. When I was young, we used to go to San Pablo Lake. Every morning yon kapag wala kami, pasok, pumupunta kami ng Sampaloc Lake. Around 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning, makita namin yung mga namimingwet, gamit lang yung fishing rod, ganun, mga nagja-jogging, ayun. So, ang ginagawa lang namin is namamasyal kami every morning, parang konting lakad lang. Noon, meron siyang mga, ano, yung mga isaw-isaw. So, bakit favorite ko yung Sampaloc Lake? Kasi, unang-una, yun yung malapit sa amin. San Pablo Lake also is nearest in the capital of San Pablo. And currently, our Miss Universe 2018 said San Pablo Lake. Yeah. You can do more activities. Like, pwede ka mag-bike kasi may nagre-rent ng bikes doon. Ayan. So, parang worth ano lang siya, 15, 20, or 25 like that. Pag nagbabike ka, makikita mo na yung ganda ng San Pablo Lake. Maiikot mo, di ba? Nag-exercise ka na, nakita mo pa yung ganda ng place. And also, may malapit sa San Pablo Lake na playground. So, yan. Pwede sa mga bata, sa mga chikiting, di ba? I remember when I was young, we used to play there. See? So, mga mga slides. Ayan. And my another favorite lake is Pandin Lake. Pandin Lake has a twin lake. Yambo. They called it, um, Little Palawan. Parang Little El Nido yun. Yun yung tawag nila sa Pandin. Sa Pandin, yung mga nagbabangka is mga babae. So, mga bankera sila. Uh, kasi, di ba, normally, yung mga nagbabangka is lalaki. So, you can do swimming. Yan. Pwede ka mag-swimming doon. Bibigyan ka nila ng life best. Ganyan. Pwede ka ding mag ng parang isa siyang ano tawag mo doon? Kawayan na ano, balsa. Parang siyang balsa na medyo may kubo yun. Ganyan. I don't know kung ano tawag doon. Ayan. Basta yun na yun. <laughs> Pwede ka mag-rent doon. Tapos, with pagkain na din. Sarap yung food. I've been there kasi. And also, in San Pablo, we celebrate our Coconut Festival. Every January 15. We start at January 8 or 10. We have also, para sa mga matitindi, mag-inom. Punta kayo ng San Pablo pag magpe-fiesta. <laughs> Meron kaming booth called it Beer Plaza. Sa plaza, tatayo sila ng stage. And then, on the other side, yung mga booth dyan na nagtitinda na mga favorite yung alak. Every night yan, hindi nawawala yan. And in San Pablo, as usual, normal din naman sa iba ding lugar, we have also our pageant. Lakan and Mutia. Aside from having a Lakan and Mutia, we also have this gays. Ayan, para sa ating mga LGBT. In San Pablo, we support LGBT. So, thank you nga pala kay Wancho kasi pinahiram niya sa akin yung mga pictures na yan. We also have street dancing competition. Yeah. Sa mga elementary, high school, and then college. I, I also joined that when I was in grade 6 and grade 5. Eh. So, ako yan. Ako yan yan. And this one. Yes, dancer is. Dancer si Ate Girl. Sa bata, magkaganda yung ngiti, di ba? Oh, ang ganda ng street dancing ng San Pablo and yung costumes namin or yung costumes ng mga sumasali is gawa din siya sa coconut. So this pictures nga pala is from Ralph Daryl Manalastas. Thank you, Tay. Oh, like new page niya sa Facebook. 
to Ralph Dario. And we have also float parades. Yan, may float parades din kami. And the float parades also is made from coconut. So yun, hindi ko lang sure if meron tayong coconut festival next year. But I wish sana-sana meron tayo. Kasi yun talaga yung pinaka-highlights ng pagiging San Pableño is may experience yung coconut festival. And you can also visit our cathedral, St. Paul the First Hermit Cathedral. So tapat lang siya ng plaza namin. Alam niyo ba may share ako? What? Nalaman ko lang to sa ate ko, which is sobrang effective ba to? If you visit a church for the first time, magnanak ka ng three times dun sa kanyang main door. Yun. Pagkat nak mo ng three times, sasabihin mo yung wish mo. Then, papasok sa loob, magpe-pray ka. Tapos, i-wish mo ulit yun. Sobrang effective nun. Kasi nung high school kami, we used to have lakbay panalangin. So, every lakbay panalangin, na new church yung nakita ko. Bagong simbahan, bagong kathedra. Lagi akong nagnanak. Wala ko pa kailang kahit sino makakita sa akin. Kasi, so, wish ako. So, totoo lang, lahat ng winish ko, grand. So, share ko lang yun kasi yun yung experience ko. And also, dito sa San Pablo, meron kaming tinatawag na night Market! Yan, nagsastart si Night Market every 5pm. If may hilig ka sa street foods, yung sa iba pang mga pagkain, pwede ka pumunta dun kasi ang mura talaga. Masarap talaga, promise. So, ayun lang for this video. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you like this one. And I hope that you will visit soon San Pablo City. Give this a thumbs up and share to your friends. Subscribe now. Click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified on my next vlog. So thank you, Dash Barletta. Thank you again. Bye!